Okay, guys, I'm here today. Paulo Miao, João Miao, AJ Argazan. Huge honor for me. Guys, uh, Paulo and João just shot an entire structure all about the beating bowl. I think anytime in Jiu Jitsu you think about beating bowl, those two guys come to mind. And the, what they did with the beating bowl in Jiu Jitsu, I never saw before. For example, I remember you, Paulo, uh, winning the words open class as a brown belt. As a light feather, like <laughs> that had never happened before in the history of this sport, and I don't think it's gonna ever happen again. Uh, and Green Bull was like one of the moves that you used to. Yeah, to... yeah, so it was really effective uh, on that time. So now it, it still affects you, have some like new variations, so I'm mean, really happy to show you guys. The, yeah, the so guys, they will show one of the Green Bulls here that they did in the instruction, so. I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for being here. Okay, let's go. So, I'm gonna have my Dela Riva, my friend's gonna be standing. I'm gonna get my Dela Riva position and I'm gonna look for a trough balance and bring his butt on the ground. Okay, one way to do that, I'm gonna try to stretch, stand on my elbow and use my toes on my opponent's stomach to bring his butt on the ground, just like so. Now, I'm gonna keep holding his collar and I'm gonna start spin under him to get my deep Dela Riva hook and my shin right around his stomach, this way, right? Now I need to control his far leg. I'm gonna move my hand to this ankle, to the pants, to his far pants. Now I just need to start stretching forward and I'm gonna looking for to bring my thigh right over his stomach. So I go this way here. Okay. Once I do that, I'm gonna expose a little bit his back and look for to get my grip right behind his neck. Once I grab the, once I get the grip behind his neck, I'm gonna pinch my knees together, and I'm gonna look for to do a shoulder roll over the 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 arm that I have the grip on his neck, right? Trying to bring his knees, his knee towards his face, and step on the ground. So I go this way here. Once I do that, I'm gonna start bringing his hip high, and I'm gonna look for to switch to switch for my twister hook. So I move my hip, stretching forward, and throw. The second hook finish on the back. Right, one more time. Yep. Oh, Paul, it's crazy how much heavier I am than you. Uh -huh. But when you place that hand behind the neck here, yes, really I can like, feel yeah. like I'm like a, yeah. I was like a rooster. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, this grip will help a lot try to, to, to be, from be able to bring you, uh, climb you in the back and bring you uh, with your butt on my front, right? To, so that's like one of the biggest secrets in the green ball is to kind of like find a way to expose your opponent's back yes. when you suit his back on the ground. Uh -huh. Would you say that? Yes, yes. I think the the main thing when you're trying to take the back, right? The main the main good way to take your opponent's back is try to do the twister hook, right? Yeah. So this grip here is gonna help you bring your on top of my stomach, and with my knee placing towards the sky, it's gonna be an easy transition yeah. to go for the back. Can you do one time, John? Just so I yeah. can see. It. This way, so I bring my knees towards the sky, right? This is gonna help his hip come on my stomach, right? And then I just need to push a little bit more and do the transition for the twister hook. You got it. Like this. Oh, that's crazy. And you were like, I mean, like, you were one of the only guys in the world who was able to take the beating ball and apply like on open classes against people from all different weight divisions and the. Yes, uh, to be to be honest, uh, I feel the guys, uh, or oh, heavier guys, underestimate a lot of the burning bolo, and then and they, they end up like going to the foot because they they feel I'm small and they're weaker than them. They try to go for the foot, and uh, when the guys go for the foot, it's a, it's a, I think it's a huge mistake because then he end up the back is yeah, even more yeah, exposure. Yeah, then yeah. they end up can, get, taking the back. Oh, Paul, and for example, in order to apply that against the very heavy guys. On the gym, you used to train a lot of heavy people as well, yeah. or it was more like you would leave that only for the tournament? Uh, no, I, I on my lower belts, I train a lot of with the heavier guys. Now in the black belt, I don't train too much. I don't have a lot of heavier people to train anymore. 
But on the time, yes, I train a lot with the heavy people, and he works a lot to with the heavy people too. Yeah, no, I think your results talk by itself. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, guys, Joel and Paulo just shot an entire structure all about the Bean Bolo. So it's gonna be at bgjfanatics.com very soon. Make sure to check that out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.